Africa. Which way is it? Connecting Africans to the world. To the motherland. Isn't it? Say hello. Hello. What's your name? Hmm? Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Sim Sim. Yeah, so today I'm bringing you something beautiful from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, before I say that, do you remember during the COVID time uh, when one needs to travel, you have to go through a lot of hassle before you get um, permit or let's say visa to travel to Ghana. So it got to a time they issued this um, information or directive that uh, people that are coming to Ghana must or can't take a visa on arrival. Now, this thing has come up again, and that is what I'm going to share with you. So stick and stay. I'm going to tell you more about the information that is reaching me about travelers coming to Ghana. And if this is your first time watching my videos, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. So welcome back. Now, um, when you have a Ghanaian passport, there are countries that you can visit without visa. I mean, my first trip outside Ghana was to Kenya and then to Tanzania. And then when I got back, I did Togo, which is like closer to Ghana. And then I continued to Benin. I wanted to go to Nigeria so bad because I was born in Nigeria but my parents are Ghanaian, so by birth, I'm a Nigerian, by, by ancestry, or naturalization, whatever, I'm Ghanaian. So, yes, uh, there are certain places in, in, in this world that you can travel to with your Ghanaian passport. So, like I said, I've been to Togo, Benin, um, Tanzania, Kenya, and then recently last year, okay, then I did Dubai, which is not in Africa anyway, and then um, recently last year, I went on a trip with my friends, we went to Ethiopia, beautiful place, Ethiopia, and then, you know, we met a lot of beautiful women, a lot of, one thing I love about Ethiopia is that the place is really neat, just like Rwanda, and then we continued from Ethiopia, and then to Rwanda, Kigali, that is where I've always been dreaming to go. So yeah, this is what is happening with your Ghanaian passport. There are other Asian countries that you can go and then the Caribbean countries that you can go with your Ghana passport. But some of them, you either get visa on arrival or e-visa or you apply for visa here, you get it before you travel to a place like South Africa. Now, you may want to come to Ghana come and experience our culture, our food, our music, our dance, our lifestyle and everything. And now, you may have to, when you're coming from Europe or any other place, you may have to apply for visa. Yes, and uh, Ghana is... Yeah, sorry about that. My kids were making noise. So I had to go and stop them. All right, so like I was saying, um, you may want to come to Ghana. And I get questions like, Echo, how do I get visa? I don't even have a pass. I'm like, okay, first you have to apply for your passport. Because I know most of you are in the US and in the Canada and you don't feel like you want to travel because that is where everything is. Yes, that is how we see it. Okay, so you apply for your passport, you get your passport, and then you put in an application to the Ghana High Commission um, at wherever you are. I think it takes like two to three weeks. Um, you present all your documents and then 
voila, you get your visa to come to the motherland or go anywhere in Africa. But this time we are talking about Ghana. All right, so after you do that and then you get your visa, then you can book your ticket and come to the motherland. But now they are saying that they're having some issues at the Ghana missions around the world. But now they are saying that there's a little hitch somewhere and they are, you know, pushing for e-visa for Ghana, which they are still, you know, talking about. It is not yet implemented, but I hope that pretty soon it will be done. Because when we're going to um, Ethiopia, we had to get a visa and it was an e-visa. So we applied through online, we got the visa, and then when we got to the airport, we made payment. So I think that is what Ghana is also trying to do, but then it's not in yet. Now, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is saying that it has given directive to KIA. KIA is Kotoka International Airport. That is the only international airport in Ghana. I remember last two years, Cape Coasters were fighting for airport in Cape Coast, airport in Cape Coast, because why? Most people, when they come to Ghana, they want to come and see the castles or the dungeons and the canopy walkways and the lifestyle of the people of Cape Coast. And we were saying, okay, why don't we get a direct flight to Cape Coast? So that is just by the way. All right, so now the directive is that I'm going to read it out to you so that you will know that it's really coming from the Ghana missions through um, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So this is what it says. Visa on arrival for travelers to Ghana. So I'm reading it right here. All right, so I'm going to read that letter that came from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Regional Integration to you so that you would be informed that from today onward, if you're traveling to Ghana because of one or two things, I think when they, when they stop this, they will also inform you so that you'll be well informed. So I'm going to read that letter that came up. It says, this is dated 15th of July, 2022. And it says, visas on arrival for travelers to Ghana. All right. Ghana missions abroad are encountering serious system challenges with the issuance of visas for potential travelers to Ghana. The situation has worsened over the past two weeks, creating mere chaotic scenes at some of the Ghana missions. All right, I know some people would have applied and they go there and they say, oh, it's, we, we are encountering issues, so um, come back in a week's time or two weeks time and people are getting mad because they have timeline as to when they want to travel. Okay, let's continue. So it says, in this connection, the Ghana Airports Company is being requested to urgently notify all airlines operating in Ghana to allow passengers with special authorization permits issued by a Ghana mission abroad to travel to Ghana on their airlines. Only passengers with such authorization should be allowed to board as such authorization will be required for the processing of their visa on arrival. The text sentence says all such passengers will be issued visas on arrival at a fee at the Kotoka International Airport. And the fourth one says while counting on your cooperation in this very important and urgent national exercise, Please accept the assurances of our highest consideration. Okay. All right, so this, this letter is um, signed by the Minister for Foreign Affairs and the Regional Integration, Ambassador Emmanuel into Chief of Protocol. So, hey, this is what is happening right now from the 15th of this month. Uh, if you're thinking of coming to Ghana, good morning. If you're thinking of coming to Ghana, uh, definitely you would have to think of getting your visa on arrival. All right, so basically this is what is coming from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. That if you're coming to Ghana from the 15th of July, then expect that you will get your visa on arrival when you get to the Kotoka International Airport. So hey, thank you very much for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my videos, kindly subscribe.